mean, when you see something like this up close, Bill, it's so different up close than what it looks like down on the ground. Yeah, I almost didn't want to show, show you this because it really looks bad. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a little kid painted it. Um, but the funny thing about murals is that they don't need to look good this close. Nobody's ever going to, you were, I don't know, we're about maybe 30 feet up. Nobody's yeah. going to be, nobody's yeah. going to see it this close. But, and I, I, re, I compared to like if you had a nice oil painting and you looked at it under a magnifying glass, that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, doesn't look good, but it's not meant to. It's meant to look good from a distance. You know what I mean? Almost sharper contrasts. I don't, these lines don't have to be perfect. Well, and the other thing is, this has the look of a of a flag, you know, that's flapping. Yeah. And from a distance, it 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 all it works. Right. And, and again, it's on the corrugated, which is makes it even much harder, you know, to, to wrap a star. Like like here's a good example. Here, we have the star that's wrapping around this corrugated, and it's two. It's a seam where one piece ends and one begins, so it drops off. You also have a rivet right here. Yeah. And none of this, you're, you're not gonna see any of this from a distance. Um, and really the rough brush strokes, it, again, I'm, I'm always amazed, like it looks terrible up this close. <laughs> well, but I guess that's sort of the fun of doing a mural, that you you, ha you do have a little bit of freedom, yep. that, that, you, that that's, you're not looking at it, that I'm not looking at this in my living room and noticing every fine line. Yeah, yeah. And again, I, you know, I would be embarrassed to, to if, if people would, would be this close to something like this all the time. But again, nobody's ever going to see it this close. The, the corrugated, how's how's that worked out? Um, it's tricky, you know, and I've, I've gotten used to it. I think I've gotten a little bit better on it. Yeah, you can see the, you know, the cor, you know, the corrugation. You know, it's it's a little different. It's not the, the straight lines that I'd be used to doing. You got to kind of hold your breath and follow the, the curvature of the building. Yeah. Um, but you know, every mural's got its own little challenges, and this one happens to be uh, corrugated. But other than that, the paint goes on real nice. It's um, you, you know, I think every mural I've done, the surface has been different, whether it be wood, brick, cinder block. In yeah. this case, I've never done this one before. Well, and I, with the way this looks, especially from when when the, from the dis from a distance when the when the red goes on next week, wow. Yeah, yeah, and I always a lot of paintings are like that. Murals and paintings are like that. That if if you paint the background and you can make the background look good before you put the, the main object in, you know you're gonna be okay. And I feel like up to this point, without the red, it looks okay. And the red is just gonna make it stand out even that much more.